So I can type in geo or file. So let me do file today. So file is just for a single item, you know? And then I can change the name. Click on that, find them. Um, uh, and where's that? Downloads. Maybe it's my desktop. I don't think it'd be my desktop. Let me see. G. No. All right, hold on. I gotta find this Eddie. I thought I had him. Downloads. It's in there. Okay. What is happening? All right, so I just put them on a desktop, so it should be there. Last modified. Hold on, this is getting ridiculous. Give me a second. Downloads. Okay, yeah, that was irritating. All right, um, all right, so we have our Eddie. And let's just give a random material. So materials, uh, context, I guess we can right, I mean, not left click and go to material. And then we can do right click. Um, not the standard surface, it's, um, Principled shader, that's what it is. And this will be the one you, you know, put the all the um, the textures into, which is in another video. I'll just name it. Underscore, no slash. Um, and no spaces. So this I do make them something uh, random. All right, left click on this, go back into our objects. Over Eddie, we can go to render. Oh, and yours, yours won't have this either, because this is like, this comes free with Maya, but this is, um, uh, yeah, it's something extra and you got to pay for it. And, but you all have mantra, which is totally fine. So material, click on this, click, go to my material world where I just made the Eddie shader. And now he's like looking pink. So just imagine this is what you're gonna have because it's only one shader that connects to everything else. So just go over some lighting real quick. Um, get myself a grid. Oh, and something else, you click on these and then just click, it'll end up there on the ground. But if you control click, it all it goes to the center. So uh, I can click on this and go inside and scale this. And just because I'm gonna take another one and put it like this, let's say, let me see. It's fine. 
And then I'll just take this and rotate it. Rotate it and I'll translate it or I can click this right here and just move it back. I just wanna have a nice little backdrop. I can, I can either scale it out like that or I can go up here and Oh wait, I was on one. So if I go to 10, we get more. All right, so we have those, these in our merge. Click on this W. Yeah, grid's kind of whack, but I'll make a better backdrop in a moment. I just want to go over some lights. Matter of fact, check this out. Um, just to do things correctly. So if I go here and I go to NURBS, all right, and I'll put it on this, and we'll crank up the size. And now I'll go over here and I'll go to points. Select this, select this. Now it has some spans in it, all right? So those are fine, but these aren't, except for a couple of these. So if I take this and I select these, press T, raise it up. I'll select these again. And I'll select all these T. And then we do this. All right. Then I select these down here T. And then press S again, deselect these, and just ooh. all right. So now we got our, like an official serious professional backdrop. Oh, no. Okay. It will go back. Yeah, like that. That's good. Let me choose these one more time. Sorry, I just really uh, nitpicky about these type of things. Just want them perfect, so I don't have to worry about it. All right, now we do transform. And then just scale this joint up. Hit this. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's translate scale. All right. So our Eddie is super small, so we'll just make this small, smaller. But the point is we got it here and it's looking good. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have this, all right. So the whole point of this is to have that like, you know, cloth kind of backdrop looking thing. So we'll have this right here. We'll put them in here. Click on ch -ch -ch -ch. camera control click. Now I'm in my camera. Now, if you move your camera, you're out of your camera. But if you press the lock, you're in your camera. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to take them over here. 
I was having some issues with this before. Let's see if it happens again. I'll click on this. Let's go to about 72. Click on this again. Okay. Yeah, before it was doing something else. I don't know what it was doing. And then right here, I'll just like, just to do something different. And remember, I'm just using these because I like using it, but you can use the, uh, the other regular controls. All right, and I'll put a keyframe right here just to see. Okay. Oh, and just so you know what I did there, this is what I did. Um, in Maya, we uh, it would click shift. Yeah, it'd be the same thing in Maya, right? Where you um. Hold down shift, click, and then you drag, right? So if I do this, I get these controls right here and I can just left, I mean, middle mouse button click. And right now it's stretching these. If I want to squish them to make the animation faster, squish them. You know, so we'll just go right here. So let's say we put on 96. So we're seeing it quickly. That's because um, we want to see real time in real time. Right now, it's just playing every frame. So if I click this, it'll play back at 24 frames per second. So every 24, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. All right. And if you don't want to see the rest of that, we could just go in here and type in uh, 96. All right, yeah, it was stuck on that last frame. So now we get the whole timeline. Okay. So let's add some light. First, let's get out the camera. Remember, if we're in the camera, if it's locked, it's going to move with us. No, actually, you have to set the keyframe. So if we get out of it, we just unclick it. Now we're free. So it's kind of like, uh, let's say Cinema 4D, where you have that, um, that little box next to your camera. It's the same thing. All right, let's make some lights, right? So first light we're going to make is um, this environment light. Click on it, have environment. We'll go to this environment map get ourselves a nice one uh, let's try this one i don't know what it looks like oh, okay it's the outdoor one no i don't like that one let's go inside get the garage all right oh and then over here um this is like default kind of like uh raw setting just viewport no lights no extras, no anything fancy. This one right here, if you hold your mouth over, I mean the mouth, the, uh, your mouse, it's normal lighting. So this is what we're getting from our environment. We still don't see a lot of details in here. Now, if we click on the next one, start seeing like a little bit more of the reflections and the material. And uh, like even with this material right here, if I go to material and I take this roughness down, we're actually seeing it. So think about this just like Arnold materials. Just, you know, set up differently. And then, you know, we got roughness, so. All right. So out, no way, object. Let's give ourselves a render in the render view. And automatically what we get is uh, a default 
render node, right? When I say node, these things are nodes, right? So everything we see right here is a node. So when we click on render, it's not just like something up here we have in like our settings or like a settings, you know, menu. We do have a settings menu, but it's locked inside of a node. So to get to it, you click on this and you go out, right click and you go mantra, right? And so this right here, it has our camera. So whatever camera we're gonna use, Oh, we got a uh, one minute left. So I'll send out the email right now. <laughs> 